What's up babes, today I'm gonna to show you how we can actually progress in our workouts without adding more weight. A common mistake that people do is just add more weight when they're doing their workout. And what happens is they'll end up turning sloppy into their workout or they'll use the other muscles around the muscle they really want to be utilizing. So I have 10 other progression ideas that's gonna get you amazing results in faster time and be able to also save you from any injuries or just being sloppy in your workout. So let's go ahead and dive into it. My first one is called tempo changes. If you haven't been utilizing these in your workouts, let's make sure that we are, because I absolutely love these ones. Let me show you what I mean by that. You can be doing them with upper body or lower body. And let's say if I was doing a bicep curl, instead of just doing the one, two, one, two that we're always kind of used to of as far as tempo change, instead try to go three, down, three, up. And that would start to change a little bit of the resistance of what your muscles have to utilize. And then also what I like to do is go three down in the negative and then do a quick up in that positive. And that to me has been such a game changer on getting a little faster into my results. The next one I'm gonna teach you is the pause. This is also a tempo change. So if we were to go into a bicep curl, pause, pause when it's the most difficult and then carry on then we're good. So adding just those little pauses, and again, you can even do these in squats, like at the very bottom of your squats would be a great time to pause. So, and I'll give you more varieties, obviously, in the, in the workouts. Okay, so the next one would be adding more reps and sets, and let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say we are going into a goblet squat here, and oftentimes we're just used to the same number, eight, 10, 15, or 20 reps, right? We're just always getting even comfortable with that number. What I want you to do is go to the burn and then do three more reps. Boom, you're gonna feel a little more burn because of that. The other alternative too is in your sets. So if you're used to doing commonly, we're reading it all over people's workout plans, do three sets. Well, I'm gonna tell you to take it to four. Challenge those muscles a little bit more in that set but therefore make it so you're challenging those muscles and getting faster results. We know that muscle is what burns fat. So you'll be able to really get into that body recomposition. Okay, next we're gonna be is our partial reps. Oh, love these. Okay, so let me show you. Let's say we were gonna be doing a tricep extension with partial reps. So we're used to doing the full range of motion here, but now it's at a partial. What that looks like is we're gonna go all the way back, halfway down, back again, and then back to the beginning. So start, end, halfway, end, and back. Adding either a fourth or a half into those workouts, girl, you'll thank me later. All right, next one is going to be our training in effective range of motion. Why I really like this one is because I was doing it wrong for decades and had no idea. So let me show you what I mean by this. When you're going into your guys' squats, we've been taught to go all the way to the top and then squeeze our glutes up at the top. No, 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 no. I learned from a hip master, I talked about what that's doing is it's actually impinging into your hips because in the socket, you're just pushing that hip up into there, which causes hip impingements and a lot of unflexibility in your hips later, and we don't want that pain. So my recommendation of training in your effective range of motion is going down, and then stopping to where you're gonna lose that glute activation. I'm still activating, so then drop back down. And that to me, whoo, I'm, when you talk about burn, girl, I'm gonna take you to another level of burn. Promise. Okay, next one is going to be, ah, uh, let's see. So single leg, so isolation exercises are gonna be phenomenal. Now, if you have been kind of just incorporating compound workouts, they're great, but now add compound with an isolation exercise. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna show you squats, for example, because we all know those are pretty simple. So in our squat, go ahead and take a look at my feet here. So what I'm gonna do is set my feet up like I normally do in my squat, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and lift my heel. Notice that the shift of my midline center of my body did not change. All you're doing is lifting that heel, and then as you go into your squat, you're gonna be utilizing this other leg. This one here is just holding you to balance and just make it so that you're stable, but this leg is now taking all the heat, all the burn. Therefore, again, gonna be able to start changing up your workouts and making you progress without adding weight into your workout. If anything, you'll even drop down on some weight to even do some of those. All right, so next one, girls, I'm gonna show you bands with weight. All right, so this one, if you haven't been doing it, 
let me show you why this is so effective. So I'm gonna take a booty band here. If you don't have these cute little guys, make sure to head over to bootybands.com. They have the best quality and they'll never ever break on you. So super comfortable as well. And there's four different levels of these bands. I have the level three booty band on right now and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just grab my barbell and I'm gonna take it up onto my hips with the band on. And why this is so great, I'm gonna tell you, is most often times when we're in our hip thrust, we're just working our maximus. But now that I have that band on and I'm pushing against the band, I'm now working my maximus, my medius, and my minimus all at the same time because I'm now utilizing bands with my weights. Girl, if you haven't felt that burn, you'll thank me later. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, the other one is, um, let's say if you do want to add more weight, Awesome. Let me show you how to add more weight, but being able to use what's called drop set, that when the weight gets too heavy, you drop down your weight so you don't get sloppy in your workouts. Let me show you what I mean by that. I always like to have either, you can see over here, I have my heavy set of barbell with my lighter set barbell, my heavy dumbbells with my lighter dumbbells, okay? So being able to kind of know what workout you're doing, choosing your weight at the very beginning, you can do this at home or in the gym. Let's say I just do deadlifts. RDLs, here we go. Hinging at the hips. Ooh, it's really challenging me. It's a weight I'm not used to. I'm progressing with my weight. But as soon as I start to feel all the other muscles around that muscle, I lost that activation. We drop that weight, go back into our lighter weight, and finish out that set. Whew. And that, my friend, is gonna take you to another level. I like to do those in my leg presses at the gym, and you can have like your spotter. Just take the weight off. Girl, <laughs> drop sets should be your best friend. Yes, add more weight, but use these progressions. You can drop the weight too, and therefore getting a stronger, sexier, sculpted body because of these. Oh my gosh, okay, last one here. Adding elevation and declines to your workout. So go ahead and take a look at these little step benches I've got right here. You can use a, um, like a step bench at home, or you can end up, when you're at the gym, you could actually just use the plates themselves and be able to do this. So make it work for you. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways I like to use elevation. Okay. Taking the booty band off for this because I'm a little bit more in the sumo squat. So if I go into an elevated squat, check this out. You can do it either goblet form or here. But what you're gonna do is be able to drop a little deeper into that squat than you're used to. Therefore, adding that elevation. Girl, like I said, can take you to another level. Now let me show you if it was just a lunge. <laughs> do we wanna get advanced or do we wanna be a beginner? Your choice. All right, so here we go. Top favorites. We're going to go ahead and put the foot flat onto the bench, drop it into that lunge. You can keep it here into that lunge, or if you want, you can step it through. Either or, but again, the emphasis is that you're in an elevation, changing up your level. Whew, and my heart is just loving the burn. Okay, the other one obviously we've already known is the elevated bridge. You can definitely put more weight onto your hips for this, but for demonstration purposes, keeping the feet flat onto the bench, digging the heels, lifting the hips with that weight, and pushing through. This is a great technique for using, so decline and elevation in your workouts. Let me know if that helps you guys. Again, there's a total of 10 of these. I'm here for the progression of your sculpted and toned self. I absolutely love to help sculpt and tone women that are over 30 years of age because there's a science behind it and I got the tricks for you. Lots of love, have an amazing one, and I'll see you in the next video.